Why was I so drawn to him? When I asked myself, I had no answer. Despite all my qualifications, my extensive research into the fields of literature and philosophy, I was at a total loss to explain it. I'd been searching for the truth, yes. But this wasn't the truth I'd expected to find. I'd been a committed atheist. How could I go from that to not just believing in God, but loving Him? God in human form, who was alive in this world as we speak. Doubts haunted me, trying to gain control of my mind. And if I was confused, imagine what my parents thought about this man they'd never even heard of. The one who filled me with such ecstasy that I felt at one with all creation. I still remember receiving my first postcard from Meher Baba, waiting for the postman to arrive every morning. It was like being in love. अमिया हजरा के लिए कुछ है क्या? नहीं, कुछ भी नहीं। Please let go of me. I have a lot of letters to deliver. Huh? Love strengthens faith, and faith drives away all confusion. Baba wants you to drive away all confusion. But instead of driving away all confusion, I created more. They asked me not to pester Baba. Baba, if you want to see me happy. You must grant me audience. Baba wants you not to come to him at present or even during Christmas vacation. Baba himself told me to be patient and not to visit him. But what comfort was obedience for my aching soul? So what did I do? I wrote him a second letter, again begging for darshan. Please, 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 Baba, you must allow me darshan as soon as possible. Eventually, Baba did grant me his darshan at Guru Prasad, where I met him for the first time, and later he invited me to a sahabas at Mehrabad. Following which, even without Baba asking me to do it, I took the most spiritual decision. I would become an ascetic, a fakir. I would abandon my career in teaching, as well as my parents, in order to lead a simple, humble life. <laughs> So I moved here, a small village called Bhedaghar, to work with stone cutters. आपके लिए टेलीग्राम और मनी ऑर्डर आया है। बाबा ने मुझे मामले शोर बोला है।
zero seven six three two four five eight one. Hello, Sharma. Sharma, guess what? Baba has invited me to Mahabaleshwar. Yes, he invited me too. I received a telegram this morning only. He has also sent money to cover all our expenses. I know, but we cannot accept this money. If we are spiritual aspirants, we should pay for ourselves. Then we can return the money to Baba, and he'll be impressed by our simple life. Mm, we don't need Baba's money. Mm, I have a ring. I can mortgage it. Ah, uh, I can sell my bicycle. Okay. Okay, Sharma. Listen, meet me at the bus stop on Thursday at eight a.m. Okay. Okay. I'll see you there. Goodbye. Bye. Namaste, Sharma ji. Namaste. Namaste. Um. An unexpected situation has a reason, and I find myself in need of some money. Uh, uh, would you be interested in this uh, in this ring? It's a valuable family heirloom. Mm. Yes. I want to sell my bicycle. Okay, let me see. I give you the fifty rupees. No, no, no. One fifty. Tires are old. Brake is not good quality. I'll give you seventy. No, no, one forty. Eighty. One twenty. Okay, this is my final offer. Hundred rupees. Even though this bike is worth a lot more. I accept. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Summoned by Baba to meet him. We were both overjoyed to be called. In a spiritual life, it is important to have control over the mind. I have been practicing techniques for this, and also leading a simple life. Exactly, that is why I left my job, because humble life is more spiritual. I didn't want to. I also left my job. It held no charm for me, so I tendered my resignation to the government in order to lead this simple life. Everyone at home was shocked. My father was jolly well infuriated. What? You have given up your job, and do we call that spirituality? I don't know. All I know is that I cannot forego the wonderful feelings that I've experienced recently. Nonsense! You have resigned from the job which so many others want. Is that Meher Baba's teaching? No, no, it is not. This is my decision. I'm acting on my own. Well, if you are going to be so obstinate, get out of my house. Well then. Goodbye, father. I'm leaving your house to face the future without you. So you just left? Of course. I got on my bicycle and cycled away. Meher Baba himself said, "The spiritual life is not for the faint-hearted. Sometimes you have to make difficult decisions in order to be a true fakir. But who will look after your parents? Baba will look after them. Are you sure?" Of course, he is God. He can do anything. Did I tell you about the time when I asked him for a sweet? A sweet? No, tell me. 
One day, when I was walking home with a friend, my mind was questioning whether Baba truly was God. If he really was omniscient, I needed direct proof. But I was in a playful mood and I said to myself, I am going to ask Baba for a sweet, believing that if someone did give me a sweet, it would mean that it came from him. What happened? I am going to ask Baba for a sweet. Baba, I want a sweet. Oh, Hazra! How are you? I am good, sir. Would you like to have a sweet? Yes, sir. Please. Thank you. Just like that? Yes, of course. My mind tried to tell me that it was just coincidence, but it was actually Baba's grace and omniscience that gave me that sweet. As we got closer to Mahableshwar, our excitement was building. But then the bus broke down in the middle of the night. बस खराब झाली आहे थोड्या वेळ चालू होईल सगळे जण खाली उतरा अँड वेन द बस ब्रोक डाऊन ड्युरिंग द नाईट वी हॅड टू बिल्ड अ बॉन फायर टू कीप वॉम वी वॉज सो लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू सीईंग बाबा दॅट वी गॉट कॅरीड अवे अँड एंटरटेन द अदर पॅसेंजर्स विथ टेल्स अँड सम स्टोरीज अबाउट बाबा The sun had already set and all we had were two feeble bicycles so we had to cycle it was a pitch black night with no moon to light our way were you attacked by thieves no we couldn't see what was lying in wait for us but we could hear its roar telling and listening to stories of the beloved created an atmosphere of joy and wonder and seemed to open their hearts Then I saw him his face in the light of my bicycle lamp the panther no meher baba his face smiled at me where the bicycle lamp's light shone on the road and that is when i knew that everything was going to be all right and i told my companion not to worry Our time around the fire seemed to bring us together. Chala chala bas neer jali chala. And who knows? Maybe Baba wanted it to be that way. Baba had booked rooms for us in a beautiful hotel with a wonderful restaurant which we would have time to enjoy fully. Isn't it great that we got here a day early? This way, after eating well and sleeping well, we'll be fresh when we see Baba tomorrow. Eating well and sleeping well. I don't know about you, Amiya, but I'm starving. All that journey without eating. I'll be just a minute. I need to relieve my bladder first. I want uh, two plates of rice, two plates of puris. uh two tandoori chickens two veg curries four chapatis uh two mutton saag wala i want two portions of gulab jamun and some ice cream that's better ah uh, blast uh, as soon as i've run out of cigarettes oh. i'll just run out and get some okay what do we have waiter Did you take Did you take my friend's order? No sir. I'll order for both of us. Two plates of rice, two plates of puris, two aloo matar, two palak paneer, two garlic naan, two raita and two chapati. You would like two plates of rice, two plates of puris, two plates of aloo matar, two palak paneer, two garlic naan, two raita and two chapati. That yes. is correct sir? Yes, now go quickly. We are very hungry. Go 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 go.
Wasn't the trip up here wonderful? It's like coming to paradise to see our beloved Baba. Yes, that scenery was breathtaking. And tomorrow we will meet Baba again. I wonder what he wants to see us for. We'll find out tomorrow, Amir. This afternoon we can simply rest and relax after bathing. Did you see the magnificent bathrooms attached to our rooms? And do you know, there's no shortage of water here. So we can have as many buckets of hot water as we want. Yes, yes, we'll have plenty of time to relax and eat well. Shalma, mm. are you sure mm. you kept the money Baba sent us separately? We wouldn't want to spend it by accident. Look, Amya, I have it in a separate compartment of my wallet. See, this is the money we raised ourselves from the ring and bicycle. And this is the money Baba has sent. Look, it's a separate section, so I can't even open it by mistake. Are you sure? I'm telling you, I haven't opened it and I'm not going to. Now let's just enjoy our food, I'm very hungry. Waiter, there's been some sort of mistake. I didn't order four plates of rice, but I also ordered two plates of rice. There's been a silly mix-up. We ended up ordering for each other. Just take half these dishes back and it'll be fine. Sorry, sir, but we can't take it back now. What do you mean you can't take it back? Please call your manager and we'll sort it out. Mm. Gentlemen, how may I assist you? There was a silly mix-up. We accidentally ordered double. We are just asking you to take back the second round. Sorry, gentlemen, but taking back is not possible. But we can't possibly eat all this food. It's too much. You have ordered it, so you will have to pay for it. It's your choice what you do with it. Thank you. Amaya, we pay good money for this. I'll be blowed if I'm going to throw it away. You're absolutely right, Sharma. We're going to eat every last bit. I'm looking for Amiya Hazra and Radhilal Sharma. Is that you? Yes, I'm Amiya Hazra. I'm, I'm Radhilal Sharma. Are you Amiya Hazra and Radhilal Sharma? Mm -hmm. Good. My name is Ramju. Baba sent me to collect you. You have to come with me now. But the interview isn't until tomorrow. All right then. Wait till tomorrow. You don't seem to realize. If Baba gives the order for you, you should not use your brain. You should follow the instructions implicitly and come straight away. No, no. Finish your meal first. But eat quickly. Baba is waiting for you.
This way. No need to remove your chappals. Amiya, Baba wants you to go out, put your sandals back on and then come in. How did you travel here? We came by bus from Jabalpur, Baba. Was it a comfortable journey? No, Baba. The bus broke down at night. And we weren't even able to leave our seats to get refreshment during the journey. So, you must have been hungry when you arrived. Where did you eat? Ripon Hotel, Ripon Baba. Hotel. How was the food there? Did you enjoy it? Yes, Baba. The food was very good. Well, what did you eat? Uh, uh, some rice and dal and Puri? Chapatis, I think yeah. it was chapatis. Didn't you have some chicken as well? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, all. Yes, all. Didn't you also have some aloo matar? Of course. <laughs> yes, 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 Baba. We forgot about that dish. Two plates of rice. Two plates of puris, two tandoori chicken, two veg curries, four chapatis, two mutton sagwala, two chutneys, two helpings of gulab jamun, and some ice cream. Yes, Baba. Yes, Baba. See these fellows. They are they are scholars. You might suppose they could remember what they have just eaten for lunch. But no, I have to remind them what they just ate. <laughs> did you did you receive the money I sent you for the fare? Was it sufficient? Did it arrive on time? Yes, Baba. We received the money in time. But we did not spend it. Why not? Because we had our own money, Baba. But, but I wanted you to use the money I sent you for this purpose. Are you quite sure you didn't spend it? Absolutely, Baba. I kept the money you sent in a separate part of my wallet and I didn't open it. I'm absolutely certain I only spent our money. Take out your purse. Just Check and make sure. Well, it seems like you did use my money after all. <laughs> <laughs> Baba, I really can't understand how. It's just not possible. I never opened it. I don't know how this happened. See how these two young scholars and professors have, have given up their jobs and desire to serve me. How did you get your money for the fare to Mableshwar? Baba, I mortgaged my gold ring and raised rupees 100. I sold my bicycle. I could not hear what you said. Speak up, Amya. I sold my bicycle. All these people are also hard of hearing. So, Amya, shout out to them and tell them how you came by the money. I sold my bicycle. Amya loves me. To love is one thing. To obey is another. 
it is very difficult to obey me implicitly and that is really important will you obey me yes baba yes baba i'll try to do so no well it is not easy to obey me it is very very difficult amia if i ask you to sit on your own shoulders can you fulfill my orders no baba i can't or if i ask you to to jump in the sea tied tied to a huge plank of wood with the command that you should not let a drop of water touch you can you do it for me no baba that is impossible it is like that obeying me is like trying to sit on your own shoulders at best you can turn a somersault but you cannot really sit on your own shoulders amya and sharma do you understand yes, yes baba. baba in order to attract my grace you have to obey me implicitly baba why don't you give us some of your grace so that we can obey you if i were to give you my grace to do something what would be the point in asking you to do it yourself now let me see if you can fulfill somewhat less difficult orders sharma yes baba what is it stand up take off all your clothes and go to the bus stop take a bus to pune then take a train to jabalpur not minding that you are absolutely naked then walk around jabalpur in that condition and come back to mahableshwar naked as you are can you do that for me sharma yes baba i can but uh, i but what but baba i think you would not really like me to do that when i give a certain order why do you suppose that i would not like you to do it sorry baba now amia will you obey me yes baba i'll try to there is a leper a leper woman at a crossing in mahableshwar her her flesh is slowly giving way face nose and all that she really stings one feels nauseous in her presence now if i ask you to go and make love to her will you do it no baba i really can't do it i cannot obey you to keep you pleased i am useless do not worry hazra do not worry sharma it is only to tell you that god realization comes only when you implicitly surrender to your master without any reservations without any thoughts do you see yes baba now what do you do all day at beda ghat hazra we tell people about you baba and also and also what also baba i am trying to create a state in which i am dissociated from the mind tell me what is that baba i continuously remind myself that i am not mind and mind is not me that i am separate from mind and mind is separate from me in fact i am above the mind and all the thoughts that come to mind therefore i shouldn't let it disturb me i am god yet i have no idea what you have just explained deshmukh is here he is a renowned scholar perhaps he can understand your philosophy deshmukh yes baba could you understand what hazra meant no baba i could not understand his philosophy at all you see even deshmukh could not understand what you meant hazra don't you realize that it is your mind that is saying i am not mind 
the mind is not me i am above mind i am below mind it is really the mind saying all this to itself hazra the truth lies beyond the mind unless mind is annihilated truth cannot be realized and to annihilate mind you have to attract my grace how will you do it by implicit obedience now tell me why did you both leave your jobs to do your work and spread your message baba yes baba it wasn't necessary for you to leave your jobs to do my work azra tell me the truth why did you resign baba after having your sahavas the last time i was so full of your love that i became soft and then the atmosphere of the college and the attitudes of my colleagues it did not suit me i didn't like it so i resigned you should not be so hypersensitive hasra baba although i am not in the least bit worthy of you no can i obey you the way you wish me to do do you promise to always love me you never leave me would you Amya loves me deeply Both Sharma and Amya love me deeply Listen carefully You do not have to worry about anything My nazar is on you both But before you go listen carefully to my instructions for each of you they are easy ones they are the a b c d and if you learn them by heart one day you will be an ma sharma go home and do not marry unless i tell you to neither of you are to touch a woman lustfully unless she is your own wife take this take this hazra baba says it is prasad to you Now Amiya go home and return to the job you left you love me now obey me In Mahabaleshwar Baba had drawn me even closer to him I knew that his order for me to return to my job was that I should be responsible and practical and this also meant reconciliation with my father Friends had told me that father was missing me terribly and in his heart he had already forgiven me I had never seen my father cry before. And although I did return to my career in teaching in which I was to continue for many many years, I was still a very bad student. Baba struggled as he tried to teach me obedience. But with infinite patience, he persevered. Later, referring to me as his most disobedient son